the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and Museum, part of the Hoover National Historic Site. Both a center for scholarly research and a fascinating museum for the entire family. The library perpetuates for generations to come the living record of Herbert Hoover's career of public service. Other highlights of the historic site include the small cottage where Mr. Hoover was born in 1874, a replica of the blacksmith shop, the friend's meeting house where he worshiped as a boy, the restored homes of early West Branch, the presidential gravesite where Mrs. Hoover is also buried. It overlooks the 180 acre park from a gentle knoll. This is Lowell Thomas inviting you to visit the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and Museum, part of the Hoover National Historic Site. It's open seven days a week, just a quarter of a mile off Interstate 80 in West Branch, Iowa. So long until we see you there. If you think you know the Hoover Library Museum in West Branch, have we got a surprise for you. Where else can you visit an Australian mining camp, walk through a World War I warehouse, experience the Roaring Twenties, go fishing with a president, or come face to face with the Berlin Wall? And that's just for starters. So come to West Branch and see the world at the new Hoover Library and Museum. I'm Margaret Hoover. I invite you to visit the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and Museum. My great-grandfather was more than just a president. He was born here in West Branch and led an uncommon life. From orphan to engineer to international businessman, he was known as the master of emergencies and the great humanitarian. Enjoy the exhibits and don't miss his birth cottage, a schoolhouse, a blacksmith shop, the prairie where he played as a child, and his gravesite. Experience the many sides of Iowa's only president at the Hoover Museum in West Branch.